Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mogul here, and I am bringing you guys a video on how to make a commentary using Sony Vegas. This is the technique I use to make my own commentaries, so that's why I'm showing you guys. And I'm hoping if you're new to YouTube and you want to start getting into gameplay commentaries and you have Sony Vegas downloaded or you bought Sony Vegas, then I'm hoping that this video will help because this technique, it's a pretty kick ass technique, and also it's extremely easy to do. So anyways, once you're set and ready to go, up, open up your Sony Vegas. As you can see, I already have mine open. And um, your Sony Vegas should look something similar to mine. If it doesn't look exactly or it look extremely identical, calm your tits. It doesn't matter. As long as you have the timeline indicator, you should be fine. I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 11 for this tutorial, by the way. And if you have Pro 10, Pro 12, or Pro 7, or Pro 6, like I said, calm your tits. It should look semi-similar to this. So anyways, once you opened up your Sony Vegas, uh, you're going to want to get a gameplay or a video clip that you're going to want to commentate over. I'm going to go up to File, Import Media, and you're going to try to find your video that you want to commentate over. So once you found it, you just click on it, press open, and it should open up in Sony Vegas like that. Left click, drag it down and it should go into your timeline like that and as you can see you have the bottom part which is the sound and then the top part which is the video itself the actual video that you'll see not here but you'll see in the sound well that's what you hear common sense alrighty so when you play the video now you should hear sound you should hear sound from the video itself and what I like to do when I'm making my commentaries at first is get rid of the sound just mute the sound and to do so just go over here and find the volume slider left click and drag it all the way to the left until it says INF and that pretty much mutes the sound for now <coughs> excuse me and that's what you want when you make the commentary so as soon as you got that you press this red button or scratch that as soon as you got the video is how you like it you have all the editing in and all that crap you're gonna wanna press this record button this red one right here this window should open up if it doesn't then it doesn't really make a difference but it should and the reason this window opens up is because you're going to decide on where to save your sound file that's gonna be created when you make your commentaries alright because when you make a commentary in Sony Vegas it's going to create a new sound file and you just want to find where you're gonna wanna save it I recommend that you don't save it onto your desktop, especially if you're like me when you make commentaries and you just, you just pretty crappy at them. I mean, I might sound good in my videos, but that takes me forever. It takes me like over 100 takes. So what I did is I made a separate folder. Uh, here it is. Let me just find it. Commentaries. There it is. So I'd recommend if you made a separate folder, name it the commentaries. But you know what? You don't have to. Just figure out where you want to save your sound files that you're going to be making. Once you do so, press OK. Press OK again. And you should get something that looks like this. You have this this uh, timeline indicator moving, and you have these these uh, sound waves that are being created as this sound or as this timeline indicator moves along. And what is happening right now is as as the thing moves, it's recording my voice. You know, I'm talking right now, and whatever I'm saying right now is being recorded. And as soon as I like, I like how it turned out and all that crap. You just press pause when you're finished and then just you can delete it or rename it or delete all but if you like how it is just press done and when you watch the video you should hear yourself created as this sound or as this timeline indicator move. yep that sounds pretty good that was him that was the uh, the sound talking that wasn't me by the way and um, yeah so you should be able to make commentaries using that one problem you might have this happens to me a lot. Let me just delete this sound clip real quick. Uh, the problem you might have is when you press the record button, you're going to realize that the timeline indicator is going to be moving, but nothing's going to be created. No, no sound file is going to be moving along with the timeline indicator. To fix that problem, all you have to do is go up to File, Save As, just leave it as Untitled, or if you want, you can name it whatever you want. Save it to your desktop exit out the Sony Vegas that you're using right now find where your file is that you saved on the desktop mine's right here open it back up let it load come on we don't got all day 
open it up holy crap I right, hopefully this will open up sometime soon hopefully we're not dead by the time it opens up holy crap All right, there it goes so it's opening up the save file and you pretty much do the exact same thing where you just pro oh, I press it a couple of times holy tits all right let me uh, all right so as soon as it opens back up you press this record button once again and it just it should start making it should make the the uh, sound file and um, yeah so anyways guys that is that is about it for this video I apologize if it was boring and I'm hoping that helped you guys out but if it didn't I apologize and that being said it's more gold and I will talk to you guys later peace